we are <laughs> and we're off to the races. Hey fam, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Robert Anton here, RobertAnton.com, coming to you with your no frills, the voice commentary from a singer. There's something crazy going on with my little <laughs> screen right here. I don't know what's happening. Okay, here we go. Tonight is the final night of the battle rounds, and Pharrell has the only steel left. And we got clips of Rihanna as mentor right up front and before commercials, and they really pushing this Rihanna thing, right? Rihanna will be there for the knockouts. The first battle tonight had Team Adams Amanda Ayala versus Shelby Brown. They did Edge of 17 by Stevie Nicks. And Shelby knew the song better in first rehearsal and Adam advised her to learn it as well as possible for the battle while John told her to just sing it out. And she was messing up in the final rehearsal also or was having a hard time telling them apart. You know, what? Was, <laughs> like the two of them looked the same. Like they could have been twins except for like the different hair and it wasn't even like, okay, did you think they looked alike too? They started, Amanda quickly got in Shelby's face and they were wailing away. Quite one voice but they were very close. They both seemed a little, just a little green as far as the stage presence, but I think Shelby had a little bit of an edge. They both sounded about even too, even though one was more bombastic. Again, I was having a hard time for telling them apart. Blake loved Amanda's sandpapery voice and called Shelby's impressive. Pharrell called Amanda's control crazy. Gwen said Shelby filled the room with incredible power and said they were incredible. And Adam chose Shelby Brown because he said she rose to the occasion. Then Team Pharrell had Amy Vashel versus Jubal and Amanda of the duo and they did to love somebody by the Bee Gees and Jubal pulled out his guitar and Missy said they reeled us into what they were doing and she was all talking about nasty stuff about hotels and all that I'm gonna give it to you and I was like Missy what's going on this is network television and then Amy also played her guitar and uh, Missy told her to project her voice more in final rehearsal Missy asked to hear it without the guitars and they pulled away the music stands and everything they just stood there with the microphones and it sounded better and they looked better then Pharrell told them to tighten up the harmonies before the performance. So they did come out for the performance without the guitars and Amy got to fire the first shot. She had such a wonderful husky sound with so much warmth. Then Jubal sang a line and then Amy sang a line which is what I was talking about with the duo before. They didn't sing separately and then they went into harmony together. The differences in their tones were so stark during the three part harmony. It worked but it was a very noticeable how theirs was so bright and clean and hers was so like dark and husky they handled this well and it sounded good. Gwen said it was so beautiful and said the duo's voice were so strong and mentioned the contrast of their voices, all three of them together. Adam said Amy was shining on her own as well as they were shining together. Blake said the duo were so much better today than their blind audition and told Pharrell he doesn't know how he can move forward without Amy and Pharrell chose Amy Vasho because there's something rare about her approach. And if there's something rare about my approach, make sure to thumb up the commentary and let me know. It's sure today. I know Lord, he's so short. But I hope that you will thumb it up. And I hope that you will comment. And I hope you will send it on. Thank you guys so much for your thumbs. So in the montage of the night, you know it's an hour show, so we get the montage. Team Pharrell chose Darius Scott over Daria Jasmine. Team Blake chose Nadja Nicole over Cole Krisky. And Team Green chose Summer Chappelle over Hannah Ashbrook. Now, for the final battle of the night, we had Team Blake with Emily Ann Roberts versus Morgan Frazier. And they did I'm That Kind of Girl by Patti Loveless. And Blake gave them some great notes in the first rehearsal and said they both bring something different to the table. And then when they finished in final rehearsal, both judges were clapping and Blake said they brought it, you know, and said that they both had worked on everything and they didn't get any critique, any notes or anything, and we were off to the races. Emily started out with a sweet sound but seemed just a little nervous while Morgan came in with sad and confidence there was a great sweetness to Emily and she got playful as the song went along and I found myself paying her more attention Morgan pulled out a big moment just before the end of the song did a note oh god and she kind of pulled it out and I was like go ahead on girl she knows how to work it so Pharrell said Emily did a good job and told Morgan it was great Gwen said Morgan's voice was knocking her over and liked Emily's personality Adam called it an impossible decision and Blake chose Emily Ann because he couldn't pass on the opportunity to continue to work with her and Pharrell used his last steal on Morgan Frazier to end out the night with a win-win. Y'all know I like a win-win, right? <laughs> <laughs> and next week will be the knockouts. I hope that I'll be doing commentary for you guys. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you're enjoying it. If you want to see it, make sure to send it around. Um, I will be live tweeting no matter if I'm doing the commentary or not. But it seems like interest wanes or something. And I'll, I'll be watching, but we'll see what happens. It depends on how I feel. Okay, I hope to see you next week. This is Robert Anton, RobertAnton.com. I am out.